A souffle is like a cloud in a dish, light and airy, yet fleeting in its perfection. You can make it with a pudding on the inside or firm throughout. Have you seen Captain Braddock? Not since she found that starfighter in the back of the pantry. Have you seen Chessy Cheesecake? Who else you expecting? Butter your dish all over and give it a coating of powdered sugar. This is gonna let it slip right on up as it rises in the oven. We're putting a parchment paper collar on this one. Help guide the rise. Little scotch tape to hold the paper too. And here's a nifty trick to hold the string as you tie the bow. Flip it over twice. It holds the string on itself so you can tie the bow tight. And separate five eggs. This is the firm one, by the way. Put five whites in your mixing bowl and four yolks in the other. You don't need the fifth yolk. Melt a quarter cup of butter in your favorite saucepan. Whisk in three tablespoons of flour. And when it's all smooth, drizzle in a cup of hot milk. Add in half a cup of sugar and cook it for three minutes. Add in your yolks one at a time, whisking constantly. Let it thicken some more and pour it into a metal bowl to cool to at least 80 degrees. Metal doesn't keep the heat like glass does. You can put it in the fridge to speed it up. Just give it a whisk every once in a while to keep the skin from forming. Almost forgot the vanilla extract. <laughs> this is also the spot where you can add different flavors too. Right. Lemon. Chocolate, orange and chocolate, orange with chocolate topping. Your imagination is the limit. The force is strong in this one. Hey, what's this button for? Keyboard! Damn it! Add in a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar and whisk on medium speed. It makes smaller, more stable bubbles. You want to whisk until they're foamy all the way through to the bottom and you have stiff peaks. Nope, not yet. That's egg white soup. There you go. See the mountain peaks? Add about a third of the yolk mixture to your whites and fold it in some. Add in the rest and fold it all the way in. You run your spatula underneath and trail up the batter over top. It folds it over. Now you know why it's called folding. Turn the bowl and keep folding. Every once in a while, we cut down through the middle to check for anything that might be hiding in the central fusion there. Pour it into your bowl and bake for 30 minutes. It's supposed to deflate like this. Matter of fact, it deflates within 10 minutes of leaving the oven. Rush it to the table so the drama happens there. <laughs> I'll just sneak in here quiet as a church mouse. I should have worn my seatbelt. This one has a pudding in the middle and it goes together very similarly, except it uses a hot water bath. Hey! Take it away, Marina. You'll need two mixing bowls for this, unless you want to do dishes in between. Add your sugar in here and your vanilla extract. And beat it until it's nice and thick. See how it falls back on itself? We make the roux the same way. Flip your yolks to high speed and drizzle in your roux. You can also spoon it in if it's easier. And this button! Woo! Uh-oh! Thanks a lot, Buzz! Anytime, Jesse! 
And watch this. Here's a nifty way to get your whisk out of the bowl all cleaned up for you. Fold it together. This way doesn't need a collar. And bake for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Then dial down your oven to 375 and bake for 30 minutes longer. Can't believe how good this is. Stay tuned for part two next week. Share our video with a friend. Leave a comment. Good idea.